In the summer of 2012, the Five Dyers Institute participated in an expedition in the Great Lakes. Aboard the flagship Niagara, we surveyed Lake Zeron, Lake Superior, and Lake Erie. We collected 21 surface samples using a manta trawl with a very fine mesh net. In that net, what we found were microplastic particles. In fact, one trawl, trawl number 20 on the eastern end of Lake Erie, contained over 1,580 microplastic particles. To find one source of these microbeads, you may have to look no further than your bathroom cabinet. You know those products that exfoliate your skin, the little creams you smear on your face, you scrub them in, then wash them on your face right down the drain? Here is one of those products. It says bursting beads on the back, polyethylene. It's plastic. So I'm going to dilute a small amount of this facial scrub with the microbeads into water. I'm going to pass it through a black t-shirt so you can see just what these microbeads look like. It's that simple. We need to ban the microbead in all consumer products.